Hello, I'm doing a movie review, and the movie I want to review is the 1996 direct-to-video horror film, Sometimes They Come Back Again. Now, Sometimes They Come Back Again is a sequel to the 1991 made-for-TV horror film, Sometimes They Come Back, which was based on the Stephen King story of the same name. Now, I have this movie on the same DVD as the first movie. Now, while I call it a sequel, in reality, it's really more of a loose remake of the first movie. There are a few references to the character of Jim Norman, who was the main character of the first movie, but actually what they end up doing with Jim in this movie is kind of shitty. Now, sometimes they come back again. I'll fully recognize that this is not a great movie, but it's a bit of a guilty pleasure for me because I do have some nostalgia for this. Like the first one, I did kind of grow up with it. And I enjoy it, but this is nowhere near as good as the first movie. Now, what the movie follows a psychologist named John Porter, who, along with his daughter, returns to his hometown after the seemingly accidental death of his mother. Now, when John was a child, he witnessed the murder of his older sister. Basically, his sister was dating this guy who turned out to be a Satanist, and him and his two friends ended up killing her in a satanic ritual that was meant to give them immortality. But John intervened, and even though he couldn't save his sister, he did stop them from completing the ritual, and they ended up getting electrocuted to death. But now, all these years later, the young men who killed John's sister have come back from the dead as demons, and now they plan on sacrificing his daughter to the devil. Now, in the film, Michael Gross, who most people would recognize from Family Ties, but horror fans would recognize as Burt Gummer from Tremors, plays the character of John Porter, and he's actually very good in this movie. You also have Hilary Swank as his daughter. This was obviously a very early role for her, and she would go on to become very big. You also have Alexis Arquette as the main villain, Tony Reno, and the villains in this movie are really, really over the top. And compared to Lawson's gang from the first movie, they're almost like cartoon characters. But despite how over-the-top it is, I will say Alexis Arquette does do a good job playing this character. But there is one scene from this movie that always stuck out to me, where Tony kills this mentally challenged gardener, and he says this line that always cracked me the fuck up, where he says, If a gardener is taken out to a field to be tortured, and there's nobody around to hear him scream, does it still hurt? For some reason, I always found that line to be hilarious. You also have a crazed priest named Father Archer Roberts, played by W. Morgan Shepard, who's pretty interesting. Now, what the one thing I don't like about this movie... Now, they mention the character of Jim Norman from the first movie, and I appreciated that attempt at continuity, but they end up killing Jim Norman off, off-screen, and it's implied that his death was pretty violent, too. And to me, that kind of made everything that Jim Norman went through in the first movie feel kind of pointless. The thing that's kind of interesting is Father Roberts mentions that Jim was the last known person to be involved in a demotic Sabbath, but there was no demotic Sabbath in the first movie. But he did perform a demotic ritual in the short story, so it seems like this movie might be in continuity with the original short story as opposed to the movie Sometimes They Come Back. And actually, this movie does take some elements from the original story that were not present in the first movie. But Sometimes They Come Back Again, it's not a great movie, but I do enjoy it. Like, it's kind of a guilty pleasure for me. I will say, with the exception of the main cast, some of the side characters are a little annoying, but I do recommend it. It's typical of a lot of these early to mid-90s direct-to-video horror films that Trimark was putting out. But that was my review, and my next movie review will be on Sometimes They Come Back for More.